What's up guys, Sharpen here, today we're doing a recent one, finally! So it was suggested a few days ago, and the tutorial I'm doing today is walking up and down the stairs. Now take note, just like all my other tutorials, this one is gonna be improvised, so I have no idea what I'm doing, or how this will turn out. But walking up and down the stairs is a pretty tedious one, so if you don't mind, drop a like on this video, because this one was not easy to do. Anyways, let's see what we can do here. By starters, I want to import a character, I'm just gonna call him Frank. I recommend you put Frank in a folder, because I said folder, because this will help you animate stuff. I mean the folder Frank as well, so this is Frank. Because having your character in a folder will help you add some overlapping action to make it look like it's actually walking up the stairs. I do recommend a folder for this one. Now I want to just make a short walking cycle for this guy, so he walks to, up to the stairs and then I'm gonna animate the stairs, so... Okay, so so far our Frank walks up to the stairs and stays here because we're gonna animate him walk up the stairs. The problem here is the stairs in Minecraft are freaking huge, okay? It's like compared to me, a stair would be this big. Like I would I would have problems walking up these as well. But the second problem is that the legs of Minecraft characters are pretty short, which is also a problem. What's more, we don't have any ankles to work with. It's gonna be pretty hard to make this. I'm just gonna animate the legs first and then I'm gonna animate the body and the head and stuff. But first I wanna focus on the legs. As he stands up, leg will be extended. The body will of course adjust to be on the same position as the leg was before it extended. Woo! I did not meant to do that. <laughs> Put him forward so the leg is in the same place as it was before, like this. Then this leg is of course going to bend upwards. Which is way too fast if you ask me, alright. This leg should go backwards a bit, so it makes it look like he stepped on his toes, you know? I don't know. I'm trying to get the leg as high as possible. Or else I'm just gonna have to make him jump up the stairs, because that's also a bother, because why not? We'll be like this. This is what I'm gonna do with this leg. Also, this one needs to go further back. So it looks natural. No one does this. It looks way more realistic. Follow the gut feeling, because the gut knows the best. I've said that once before. I'm saying it again now. Alright, so I'm just trying to get this step here, like this. Steps here, and this leg should probably have an ease in and out here because, alright, maybe make him like so. Like that. Take a step! Alright, this is not too bad, except that this part, the leg is going through the floor, so I'm gonna make a new keyframe for the folder, select both of them, and just move the entire folder backwards a bit, so it's like this, it doesn't go through the stairs. Now I'm just gonna delete the second keyframe, so it's like this all the time. So he steps back, Walks up to the stairs, puts the leg up, and tries to step on it. So this part doesn't look too bad so far. Now the problem is gonna animate him step on the stairs. So bend this leg a little bit, put it backwards, like so. Adjust the character position, because the leg always needs to be in the same place. He is still standing on this bottom leg, so we need to make him look like he's doing that. And as he takes this step, yeah, this doesn't look too bad. The timing is also pretty nice. So I'm gonna make him extend this leg, so it looks like he took the step on the stair. So it's like this now, look. Bam. Yay! He took the step on the stair! The second thing we need to do is, this is pretty high. He cannot simply just make the next step off this leg. He needs to lean on this leg and then step up. You know what I mean? I don't know how to explain, but you'll see what I'm doing after I do it. So this leg needs to have all the pressure on itself. So I'm just gonna make this leg retract a bit more and put the body standing on this leg now. Because this is gonna be the main leg now. Bam! Too much. This? Yeah, look at this. This is what I like. When I'm gonna animate the body, the body's gonna go forward. He is now standing on this leg, you know what I mean? This is what I'm doing here. He's leaning on the leg on the stair. He needs that balance when he steps on the leg. Now, um, this leg was here. We gotta animate to go into the same place. Okay, this is gonna look funny. <laughs> Let me just try. And if it looks good, then I'm just gonna use it. This point should be in the same place. So like, yeah, this actually does not look bad at all. The point is in the same place, makes him look more solid, you know? This, which actually does not look that good. Alright, so I'm just gonna retract this leg so the point is always in the same place. Okay, maybe it's off by a bit, but cut me some slack. This leg is gonna get extended, like so. And this leg is going to go upwards, so it steps on the second stair. Now, this is going to be a problem, so I'm gonna split this motion into two. So the folder and the character are gonna work in conjunction with each other. So 
the folder is gonna take over the up and down motion and the character is going to take over the horizontal motion. So first off, as he extends his leg, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna move this guy for in, inwards and then I'm gonna move the folder upwards like so. Wow, I actually got it in the first try. I was gonna move this guy inwards, then this one upwards. I was gonna adjust the left and right position, but it seemed like I got it right in the first try. Look at this. But as you see, this happens. This is why we have the folders because they're currently both linear, which is the same if I just made one motion, but the up and down motion is gonna have an ease out and this one's gonna have an ease in. At least I think this would function. Yeah, it's closer than it was before. Maybe let's uh, give an ease in sign to this one or an ease out sign. Almost, you see? Because as he ex extends the leg, it goes upwards way faster than it goes forwards. Let's make this a bit slower as well. You see this? It looks like he's walking up the stairs. Uh, now also, I think I need to add the third folder because these things are really tedious. Third folder, Frank! This frame is okay, this frame is okay, but in the middle, it just goes out of sync. So I'm gonna add the third folder to fix the previous positions. So it's like, this is just for the corrections. Sometimes three folders are needed. So if you add an ease in and out to both of these, this happens. Again, it's not perfect, but it's pretty close. I'm just gonna leave it like this, and then I need to adjust this leg. It is okay here as he steps down, but it's not okay when he goes through the stair, and then this is okay again. So at this point, when it's going through the stairs, I would much rather put it back and extend it. Or like this, actually, the first frame, because steps, he needs to extend that leg. I'm just gonna make it go like this, you know, because he extends that leg. I'm just gonna keep this leg being backwards a bit, although this is messing with his balance, so I'm gonna put it like so. This guy walks up the stairs, bam. I'm bothered by this frame because it's still too much. I want to put it inwards closer like this because it kind of looks awkward. Now this is better. Now let's repeat this. I'm gonna make the second step then I'm gonna move on to walking down the stairs. First of all this leg should go backwards a bit, bend a bit, then the character should adjust to that position. Ow, don't rotate him, I want to move him. This leg should go downwards, extend it. So it's like flat with the stair, like this. Took the step. Then he needs to lean on that leg. So now this leg is in charge. Upwards, bend a bit more. Now the character should adjust to the upper leg. I'm watching this upper leg now. It adjusts to the upper leg. Okay, this is okay. Now adjust this leg to be in the same position as it was before. I have to go through the stair for this one. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Look, this is what I have to do, but now it's inside the stair. I wanna cheat. I wanna move the position of the leg upwards, because I don't think there's any other way for me to do this right now. Look, it doesn't look weird at all, except it does go through the stair a little bit, but it's not gonna be visible because this leg is gonna extend soon anyway. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. I want to keep my timings right. Eight ticks, this foot is gonna extend, gonna go upwards. This other foot is, of course, going to settle down for the next step. This one might go a little backwards. And then, as I said before, this character is just gonna go left and right. This folder is going to go up and down. And now I want to adjust the left and right. The character has an ease in sign, the horizontal motion. And the vertical motion has an ease out of sign. So it's like this. Yay! Now I need to adjust the folder again. As you see, it's just left and right. So the third folder is just here for adjustments. Add an ease in and out to both of these. And now, this happens. This guy is now walking up the stairs! Jeez! I thought this was gonna be more tedious and hard to animate, but look. But of course, I need to adjust this leg here. Now it's gonna be extended. Now here, I'm just gonna bend it all the way up so it doesn't go through the stairs. Also, maybe this foot should go backwards a little bit. The character should adjust. All right, this guy just took two steps on the stairs, which is pretty self-sustainable if you ask me. Now, all I gotta do is the upper body motion. Before I do that, let me say this. You might hate folders because sometimes I do as well because they're, they're kind of annoying to work with. But if you take a look at these steps, folders are not that bad, okay? Folders give you a lot of things. Just saying. All right, let's start with the body, then the head, then the arm. That's what I'm gonna do. Body is going to move with the leg and it's gonna give some space to this leg. Maybe lean forwards. So it gives space for this leg. Of course, it does look funny now because the head is completely still. We're gonna fix that later, don't worry. We'll just work on the body for now. And now as it bends down, the body should turn down, bend upwards. This red axe is gonna go down and lean towards the leg. Maybe even downwards a bit, not, that much, not as much up. So it's like this. 
So the next one, okay, I'm just gonna reset off position because that's easier. Uh, make way for this leg, maybe even turn this way a bit. Bend upwards because he is now walking. Move the other way, give space for this leg, like so. The body should not be overlapped. The motion here is too fast. He's stepping on this leg. I might even adjust this one because down more than it should go up. This frame should be bent forward. Bam, bam. I have seen enough. This is okay. Reset the position because it's easier for me to just move the character where it needs to be. This is with the body. Bam, bam. It looks funny with the head, but we're gonna animate the head now so it won't look as funny. So the head should basically always be looking at the same direction. As he goes down, the head should look upwards. So rotate all three axes in this one. It might look a bit funny. It's just too fast. I think this frame here should move backwards a bit because the body should start going down sooner and the head is moving too much up so let's maybe if he had eyes that would be much easier like the eyes rig because then i could help myself with the eyes this one is not that bad this one actually looks pretty natural what's wrong with this one though i think the body is bent too much look at this so it's like okay yeah this looks better wow i fixed it i mean this is pretty hard this is for the body and the head. It does look kind of awkward because going up and down all the time. So maybe like don't go for as much exaggeration as I did here maybe. Just lean it forward enough so it looks like he's standing on this leg and that should do. I want to fix this. Really, I want to I wanna fix this because it looks too good for me to just abandon this idea. Also this needs to be adjusted now. The rotation is too much. This upper part here, maybe this. Now this. Looks a lot better. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like this. It's not perfect, but I can't bother fixing everything. Then I'm gonna be here forever. This arm could go out a bit, like so. This is where the arm would go backwards, because he's standing on this leg. Okay, maybe this should be moved back a bit, so it's like this. Also has the overlap, which I'm looking for, so that's also nice. Maybe you can move it upwards a bit of this frame, because this is a mobile state. I'm gonna make, make this arm come inwards again. And that's not really that hard, the arms are okay. Okay, yeah, so each time it steps, the arm changes position. So this arm should now go backwards. He's standing on that leg. Maybe outwards of it as well, like this. Then he steps on this leg, and this arm should automatically go forward, because, like, it's just a regular walking cycle again. Okay, now if you play this, this guy is gonna walk up and down the stairs. I mean, just up the stairs, like this. Okay, the arms might be too much. Also, this frame could use some bent arm here. Or, I don't know, there's something missing here. Just move it back and extend it so it's, like, relaxed. I don't know, but something bothers me when the motion here starts. It should start sooner, I think. Like this. Because the body turns suddenly and the arm is just still here. Maybe that's the problem, because the body turns too suddenly. I'm bothered by the simplest of things which is not even connected to the walking up the stairs, but still. So this is the up part. Maybe I exaggerate the arms as well a bit. Like you see what's the problem here. Now let's do the walking down the stairs and also this is gonna be faster. I have not animated the body yet, just the legs and the character position. Again, the Frank is in a folder because folders are great. What I'm gonna do is the same thing as before, just reversed. The leg should go backwards and bent, and then the character should adjust its position. Now the folder is the character, because it has the same position, so I'm just gonna animate the folder for the position. There isn't a set of rules how to do this, it's just understanding what's gonna happen. Okay, so he took the step here, and this leg should just stand completely, go outwards, like so. This leg is now on the ground, like so. This is how it steps. This leg is now bent upwards. Now this is the goofy part, and I would recommend you not show the legs at this part. So the Frank now, the character, is gonna have the up and down motion. The folder is gonna have the left and right motion, just like before. Except I think the roles are different. This goes down to this point, and the left and right is just going forward. This happened, you know? This leg has no other way but to go inside the block. Unless, of course, you made him jump up and down the stairs. But that's too easy for me to show tutorial off. So I'm supposed to do the walking. So yeah, rest in peace. You wanna move it forward a bit, so it's like this. Or maybe bend this leg even more, like so. This up and down motion needs to be linear. It does kind of look like he made a jump. Walking down the stairs is a lot more tedious. So if you want an enemy walking down the stairs, I recommend you just use this kind of camera to hide the legs. Whee! Then retract the leg a bit. Needs to be faster because the jump was way too fast for him not- Ah, uh, this is better. And then the leg should just bend again, so it's going like over the edge here. Position it where it was before. 
lands down, leg retracts, and then just moves forward. So it's like, and this leg doesn't need an in-between frame, just move it like this, because this leg is going to step. This leg is going to be the leg to, to take the next step. So it's like this. So let's get an ease in here. I'm gonna leave it like this, because I don't know what to do here. So this leg is now on the ground, this leg is now bent, this is the up and down motion, then select the folder, make it go forward. The up and down motion needs to have an ease in, just like this. That's all I have. Walking up the stairs was a lot easier. Like, I'm just bothered by this leg here. You know, this is this is better, but then it goes way too forward for the next step. You gotta time it right. And this leg bends again, forwards extends and goes backwards because he is about to take that step again moves forward to the same position yes okay so the legs are done they don't look that bad pretty interesting actually except that this glitchy part if you take a look at from the back it just kind of flips away and slides i don't like it but there's no other way around it that i know of now the body and the head so the starting position of the body should be a bit outwards like this so it gives this leg some space downwards so he's trying to look at where he's dropping the axis should be turned towards this leg and then adjust the body upwards it was just a bit too much like this rotation here as he steps he is going to move in this direction towards this leg, upwards a bit, like so. And the body, I think, should always have an ease in and out. And then at this point, it's going to adjust towards this leg again, also bent downwards a bit, like it was before, but on the other side. And because he went down here, there should probably be some bend on the body because he landed, and an ease out, and this one an ease in, and out, just like this. So he still has some impact from the fall. He doesn't just land and stay still, but he lands and the body bends a bit. Also, the arms are gonna get overlapped here, which is gonna look that much better. This place should be like turned that way with one tick of overlap, adjust for this scene again, I mean for this pose again, what am I saying? And at this point, because he fell, bent the body slightly, maybe move forward a bit. So this is what I got for the body. Body slightly wiggling as he's walking left and right, still turning, everything's perfect here. Uh, the star frame for the head should be looking down because he's about to go down the stairs. And at this point, the head is still just looking in the same direction. Of course, he's in and out because the body had the same transitions. And at this point, he's supposed to look at the same place as he was before. But the body got bent here, so the head should adjust with a bit of overlapping delay here, so it's like... See how the head bobs? I like this. I like how the head is bobbing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna adjust the head so it's always looking in the same position on all keyframes, and then just move the head one frame forward, like all the pixels, uh, like all the keyframes, even in the first one, so it's like this. Also, at the end, it kind of looks awkward because the head is the only thing that moves, but the motion would go on regularly. Like, you can continue this motion onwards, and this would not look funny. Finally, the arms, I'm just gonna make keyframes, it is in and out, so it don't have to do it all the time. First frame, this arm, don't over-exaggerate them this time. I did it last time, I don't wanna do it again. Backwards, bend it. So up until this point, this arm would go back because the other leg is now in front. I sure hope you can follow me because I'm just doing stuff without explaining it. Okay, so at this point, the arms would just go back forward. Actually, these could go here, because this is where the other leg is actually in front. I want to adjust this arm, like this, and then as this leg comes in front, adjust the arms again. So this is what I have for my base, but I'm gonna modify it, because something is definitely not gonna be okay with this. It takes the step, and this is where the arms adjust, so like this. I don't know why, I messed something up. The arms need to be timed. It needs to be brought forward when the guy takes the step. Move both of the frames forward, because the arm should move forward as he steps. Maybe a bit backwards, one frame backwards, like this. Yes, that's, that's it, I got it. This is the next frame, this is the middle of the action, so this should be the end of the action, and this is where the arm would be facing forwards, this arm would be backwards, and this should have a strong transition. Let's go for a stronger one. Okay, this one is too strong, but you know what I mean. I'm getting there. Yay, look at this. Walking down the stairs. It's not as good as I want it to be, but it's then again not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. So there you go, walking up and down the stairs. A really tedious one. Gotta say, you got me there. The result is not as good as I want it to be, but it's also not as bad as I thought it would be. So I'll give this tutorial an 8 out of 10. Now, thanks for watching. If you have a problem with something and you want to see a tutorial on it, suggest it in the comment section because I do read those and you guys are actually the ones who suggest my tutorials. So drop by because I'm all ears. I hope you've learned a thing or two. Now happy animating and stay sharp.